everyone, this is Kathy Lean with BK Crypto Crusher. Okay, so what we're doing today is we are looking at um, how the crypto market is, um, is performing and what we anticipate for the week ahead. We finally had a breakdown in the crypto market with Bitcoin breaking below um, 38,000 on a confirmed basis. Um, it's slipping lower. I think there's a very good chance it's going to touch this um, swing low here at 34,300. Um, you know, cryptocurrencies love to magnetize towards swing lows, swing highs, especially once it breaks down. So I think there's a very high um, chance that we're going to test these lows here, especially as um, the equity markets continue to sell off. We love to talk about how um, crypto has a very, very strong correlation with equities and with U.S. equities breaking down. This and expected to fall further on um, on tightening measures that there's a very good chance we could see this continue to slip lower um, towards a swing low here. Ethereum also breaking lower. The 20 SMA is crossing below the um, 100 SMA for the first time since December. You can see how powerful this move became. You know, we don't have as much um, room to the downside, looks like, but I think minimally we can get to 2,500 in Ethereum, probably below it, and likely to the 2,350, 2,400 range. Binance. Binance not moving as quickly, aggressively as um, we see in um, Ethereum or Bitcoin. But even so, even though it is not necessarily moving um, as quickly lower, the downtrend is there. And I think, you know, um, Binance coin could um, slip down to um, the 360 mark. Litecoin. Um, in regards to Litecoin, um, what we're seeing here is that with Litecoin, we are seeing um, it towards the bottom of the range. It's towards the bottom of the range, and um, I think that you know, uh, 90 is definitely the, the low on the bottom side. And you know, with um, what we're looking um, over here, we see that it's just kind of consolidating, possibly moving lower, but I would kind of, it's not, it's not really that interesting. I would kind of stay out of it. I think the um, larger coins are, you know, moving in a much more interesting direction than, um, than Litecoin. Solana, um, Solana all is similar to Litecoin in the sense that um, we do have Solana kind of edging lower. Support is at 77.70, so quite some ways. I think Solana could get below um, 80. You know, definitely could see um, some opportunities there. Um, uh, but, you know, that's that's probably, you know, going to be a slower mover. Although I think Solana definitely is breaking down. It's going to be trending lower. Um, Luna, you know, holding above the 100 SMA. So, you know... Um, that one could actually hold support. And on a relative basis, I think selling Ethereum, buying Luna could be an interesting pair trade. Polkadot, um, Polkadot pressing its lows, already made it to this low here. Uh, Polkadot is definitely a bit of a, a slower mover, but the downtrend's um, intact. And we're going to go to the weekly charts to see how far it can go. If it breaks and closes below 14, then we can see Luna drop down to 1250. Cardano. Cardano um, is also, you know, in a downtrend. It did not break down like Bitcoin, Ethereum, but because the market leaders are coming lower, I think it's hard to say that it's um, not going to um, move in a different direction. Um, now, with regards to the uh, index itself, I think um, that we, or the coin itself, that, you know, we could get a little bit, uh, lower towards about 75 cents. Ripple, Ripple um, consolidating um, after yesterday's drop. I think the support in Ripple is going to be at 56.60. It's rebounding. I think it's going to head lower. Doge um, looking more bearish than some of the ones that we just talked about, closer to the Bitcoin Ethereum um, outlook, even though it has a break broken down. We do have lower lows in um, Doge, which is um, more bearish, and I think Doge could test 12 cents. 
Last but certainly not least, Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu, um, just kind of consolidating, not really seeing much direction, but a slow mover possibly to the downside on this front. Okay, so that's basically what we're looking at um, with regards to um, the crypto market. And, you know, overall, we're looking for more weakness, more, more, um, more declines in the crypto market as we're finally seeing some, some downside opportunity open up.